What's up guys, Sean Monster 13 here, coming to you with an RC update on three in particular cars, and they all three have to do with speed. So yes, it is warming up around where I live, I live in Oklahoma, so finally getting about a week of nice 60, upper 60 degree weather, it's finally beginning to look like spring, I'm excited, it's time to break out these things from the winter hibernation, and so yeah, I'm going to definitely be doing some speed runs. I've, as you can tell, I've been working on my Russell VXL, trying to hit 70 with that. Um, Russell Mama Monster over here to the left, this green. Um, I'm going to give you a close-up view of them here in just a second, but I'm going to put that back together. I'm determined to do it this year within the next couple months, hopefully. I'm looking for roads left and right. I found one I'm going to try here and there, so I'll be looking for some speedrun videos within the next couple weeks. X01, I've only had been able to run that once until it got like really cold and just kind of, it's just terrible to be out in that cold weather, the wind and stuff, and it's not good for speed runs. So, yeah, I've hit about 69 with this guy here on the, on the far right. Uh, that was a long time ago, so I'm definitely going to do that again and film it. Uh, I've hit like 73 with this and 77 with this. So all all my new subscribers, I've reached 750 something subscribers as of lately. So yeah, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And so now I'm going to give you guys a close up look on individual on these individual cars here. So this is my Rustler VXL 70 mile per hour application. As you can tell, I do got some weight in the front. Let me give you a little better lighting. That's going to be alright. I do got some weight in the front. GRPs. Valenian. RPM throughout the car. T-bone bumper. Uh, lowered these shocks. So you can tell these sit lower. I'm still doing the rear. Haven't done the rear yet. Got the Valenian in the back. I uh, can't show you the gearing. Uh, yeah. I'm just running my Traxxas Lipos for right now. I'm planning on getting some max amps but those got those batteries man those are expensive i tell you what those things if you want to get a good set of three three cells two good three cells three hundred dollars they'll run you so yeah i'm gonna have to save up for some of those so here's the x01 my custom body i painted on it i like it came out pretty it was all right came out pretty good if i can get this thing off got the leds on it there we go. Got my castle vinyl decal. Set you over to the side. And this thing is dirty. Man, I haven't cleaned this in a while. I've been drifting with it with my kind of beater tires, I guess you can call it. Oh, sorry. I got my white RPM A arms in there. As you can see, front and rear. See my rear ones back there. Nothing else. I haven't done anything else to this. I do have, if I can grab it. Alright, I got it. Our uh, RC screw kit. And when I do some upgrades on it, I'll switch some screws out to stainless steel, but I'm really not going to take this whole car, apart, whole car apart at once and, rep and replace every single screw. But yeah, uh, looking to do a few upgrades here and there. I mean, this car comes pretty perfect for some speed runs. So yeah, looking to break 100 definitely in the upcoming months. Going to kind of scoot you over to the side there and bring you over here to this bad boy that I'm hoping to get running. Now this is my Geo Stealth R1 dedication body I did. Pretty sick, right? And this is my uh, Rustler 100 mile per hour body. So you got 100 right there. Decals and stuff. Johnster Monster on the side. And this is my run body, which is just a torn up body I used to have. Tried to do something with it, but now it's just my run body. So those to the side and this is where I'm at I'm trying to scoot all this stuff up here so you can see I do have RPM throughout throughout the car X01 drive shafts on the rear STRC hub, hub uh, adapters or whatever you can call them 17 millimeter hub adapters in the rear T-bone bumper I'm gonna put some better vinyl right here I'm looking to maybe hydro dip something if I can find some green paint, hy hydro dip it. I don't know. I might practice on some other material, but here's the rear T-bone bumper. 
the wheelie bar uh, Mamba Monster system here, 2200 KV of course for all my previous subscribers who've been with me a while they know what this car used to look like when it was put back together but uh, yeah, Traxxas, STRC, green aluminum, this thing is fully custom, custom out so yeah, I'm really looking to get this thing up and running ASAP so yeah, those are my three main speed run cars I'm trying to get going this year. So yeah, uh, please leave your comments down below and just tell me what y'all think. And thanks for watching, guys.